All right, this video will be for my uh, probably just for my summer class. I don't know if I'll have, I'll use it in the uh, the future because we'll probably have more rocks. But I want to go through the uh, the chemical sedimentary rocks that I want you guys to know. And they are quite different from each other. It's not like the classic sedimentary rocks that I covered, where you have the different grain sizes and they're all just accumulation of material that's floating down a river somewhere, most likely, and then settling in some uh, off the coast or whatever or wherever. So with these chemical sedimentary rocks, they form a little, little differently. They're usually uh, grown out of something. And I'll start with sort of the weirdest one, uh, but it's sort of famous. Boy, this looks really yellow under this light. Let's turn off this light real quick. Maybe it'll look less yellow. Yeah, that's better. This is a small piece of bauxite. Uh, it kind of forms with these little spherules that you see. You are learning this because this rock is famous, uh, or, or famous, is, I guess, famous in Arkansas, or Arkansas is known for this rock. There's a town called Bauxite, Arkansas. I'll let you guys uh, go and learn about it, because I think I've got a little quiz question over it. But it's an important uh, ore of aluminum, and it was mined very heavily to get aluminum in World War II. And it was mined primarily in Arkansas. So Arkansas is kind of famous for this rock and its quartz. But uh, it's, uh, I'll let you guys kind of go read on how it, uh, how it sort of precipitates out and, and, and forms. Um, I just want you to know what it looks like and, and be aware of it. But it's really characterized by these little orangish uh, sort of spherules. Um, yeah, so that's bauxite. Another chemical sedimentary rock, uh, we'll move on to coal. This is bituminous coal. Bituminous coal breaks apart. I'm going to try not to break this one, but breaks apart very easily. It's very brittle. It's not always shiny. It, this looks kind of shiny. Um, let's turn the light back on. It's probably going to be super shiny. Okay, you can see some of the dull parts there. And I want to compare it to its metamorphic version, uh, anthracite. You can tell this is a lot smoother. It's, I, I can't. This isn't going to break apart. It's not going to leave stuff in my hand. Uh, in fact, it almost looks like obsidian. You really have to kind of hold this and a piece of obsidian in your hand to tell the difference. But, uh, well, more on this later. But this one, uh, you can kind of see how dull it is in parts. It's shiny in some spots, dull in others. You can see it's kind of dull right there very kind of blocky and if I just kind of rub my hand on it you should see it rub off on my on my hand you can kind of see the pieces my hands turning black so this this forms uh, typically in swampy environments where you have a lot of life that's dying and sinking and it's not being decomposed uh, it's usually an anoxic environment meaning there's no oxygen and it just collects uh, over time and it's usually it's not made up of dinosaurs it's usually plant material and also single-celled organisms like you know algae and and uh, cyanobacteria and and that sort of stuff that just falls to the bottom of some location and collects over thousands of years uh, and you'll end up forming coal and so this is bituminous coal. And there's various ranges of coal. If I have you guys study natural resources and somebody picks coal, you guys will learn about all the different varieties of coal. But basically, it's just a spectrum between this and this. And there's kind of some different types in, in between. Uh, there's even one kind of before this. I think that's called lignite. So you can have peat, lignite, I think this, something else, and, and anthracite. I think that's all of them. But anyway, so that's bituminous coal. Uh, bituminous coal and the bauxite and I will talk about this one last let's talk about this one this is a piece of fossiliferous limestone you can see that nice big fossil right across there this whole rock is made up of basically all of this just pieces of them all throughout here if we look closely it's just a rock that's made up of a bunch of shells that's what fossiliferous limestone is. It's all fossils. And so what's neat about this one, and hopefully the rocks that I've given you, if you have rocks in your kit, if you have a rock kit, um, you, uh, 
you'll find these little these little segments. And they'll look like that and look like that. And these are called crinoid stems. And these were, are basically a real, and they still exist today. They're, uh, they're a relative of starfish. Imagine a starfish kind of crawling around, right? Now put a stem on its back and put a little polyp on the top. That stem right there is what you're seeing throughout this. The rest of the animal is kind of hard to preserve. Sometimes you find uh, pieces of it, but the stem preserves really well. And we find it throughout the fossil record and all sorts of different types of fossil fossiliferous limestone, especially the stuff we see around here in Northwest Arkansas. It's not too hard to, uh, to find this stuff. In fact, I believe this is from Northwest Arkansas. I think I, think I collected this uh, out towards Cane Hill. Oh, what did I collect it from? I think it's the Prairie Grove formation or Prairie Grove member of some formation. I forget. But yeah, those are crinoid stems. Maybe I'll ask you a bonus question on that. Fossil of first limestone. Should be pretty obvious how it forms. Uh, you have a beach somewhere. There are animals that live in the shallow parts of the water. Big storm comes up. Bang, 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 bang. Lots of waves happen, lots of wind happens, it pushes things around, and they get busted up and they settle to the settle to the bottom of the seafloor, and over time that stuff collects, and that's how you get a fossiliferous limestone. You can go. I've been to the uh, the Bahamas, and I've seen this stuff form so quickly from busted up pieces of coral and shells. And there was actually a glass bottle uh, that was embedded in the rock. So coral reefs that get busted up by storms will very quickly uh, kind of turn into a limestone. Um, so that's the limestone. This limestone, not just fossiliferous limestone, but limestone in general, uh, you can find this rock in it fairly frequently, especially here in northwest Arkansas in the Boone Formation. Uh, because you will have groundwater when this stuff is under, you know, not on the side of a road somewhere, but underground, where groundwater can flow through it, uh, it will be very, if there's a sandstone near it, especially a quartz sandstone, that water can become really saturated in that quartz material, in the silica. And it will start to replace the limestone with this. It's just a chemical process that happens, and this stuff will start to grow and form. And this is called chert. C-H-E-R-T. You'll find it a lot around northwest Arkansas. Be careful if somebody wants to put this in your driveway because you, this is very easy to pop your uh, tire with. In fact, I've done it. Uh, and I say that, and I've got this stuff in my driveway because I had somebody bring in a bunch of crust limestone, and they brought in a bunch of this stuff with it, but hey, it was cheap, and so I did it. <laughs> but, you know, I, I should know better. Uh, but chert is just uh, the the common type of chert that you know of is flint. This is basically flint. We just call it chert because it's a different color. Flint, jasper, chert, all the same thing, just different colors. You can make really good arrowheads out of chert. It is microcrystalline quartz. So this acts like quartz. I can scratch glass with it. It even breaks with that kind of conchoidal fracture, conchoidal fracture. You can see some of those kind of moon shapes here. Uh, and... Yeah, so you can look for this around northwest Arkansas. If you dig down a foot or two in your yard, you'll probably start to find shards of this around them with blocks of limestone. How do you tell whether this is limestone or chert? Because it can look pretty similar. Do you know how? You put acid on it because limestone is made of calcite. And hopefully this is completely turned into chert and it's got no limestone left. Oh, I haven't tried this yet. I hope I'm not wrong here. Oh, ha, ha, I see that. No fizzing. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. It's incredible. So, SiO2 will not fizz. CaCO3, calcium carbonate, will fizz with the acid. So this is made out of calcite. And if you metamorphose this, you'll get marble. And we'll talk about that in a later video. So that is the chemical sedimentary rocks that I want you guys to learn. Again, fossiliferous limestone, chert, bauxite, and bituminous coal.